Hello Cancer, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're doing your weekly reading, so we continue with the weeklies for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. And this will be for um, 15 through the 21st, which will be the last week that the Sun is in Cancer. Happy birthday to all of you guys. On the 21st is going to be the full moon. The second full moon in Capricorn. So let's see here. Remember, these are possible energies. You have free will. What is important for Cancer to know? 15 through the 21st of July. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. I've already uploaded the 8th through the 14th. One more, please, and then we'll cut. The Three of Swords and the uh, Hanging Man. There's been a decision here that or you feel like no matter what, because the Three of Swords is Libra energy, by the way, for, um, for some of you, is torn. It's like, what do I need to do uh, here? And then the Hanging Man is like, do I need to sacrifice? If I choose this situation, maybe I need to give up something else. It can be the Eternal Love. It can be here, Neptunian, with this as well. It's like you feel regarding or really uh, or regarding a relationship or a situation that no matter what or you have to wait or something here will come with uh, disappointment or heartbreak so let's see why what the actual reading is the queen of cups is coming in this might be you a lot of love offering that cup oh my goodness we're going back to the six of cups a soulmate connection. Some of you have good memories regarding a person. Wow, I, okay, I I feel like there's going to be all renewal of love here. The Six of Cups is coming as innocent, by the way, guys. It, it, it comes as something pleasurable. Um, it can be for some of you, someone you, you know already. Or there's a renewal, you, you start believing in love. But let's see. I, I feel like for some of you, it might be a person uh, that is coming back. The Hermit. You're trying to find your pathway through a lot of shadows, through a lot of distraction. Remember I said with the Hanging Man and the Three of Swords. You're trying to find the light, your star, your pathway Okay, so two major arcana. So it's going to be important in your situation with the magician. Yes, you are uh, reflecting, you are manifesting, you're thinking of all the possibilities here. You have also someone in your mind, but the hermit has to go within, no distraction here. The magician is aware or is becoming aware. He's saying, what do you need to do here to find your pathway? What has been going on? What have you, have you been trying here to understand? Remember, the magician is creating magic why when he's aware to stop everything if we want to focus here on something we have to take out the distraction we have to have the strong will we have to know here what our capabilities so this can help you we will see the outcome this can help you for some of you uh, if the hindering may be that you are so kind of focusing here on the shadow part that you're not opening your mind to new possibilities new ways so i want to see how the whole reading is going to go the four of wands to create here or a family celebration the walls of passion are at the root of this reading venus in aries by the way it can be an engagement it can be having your own family Fourth, I, uh, number four is structure but it's also fourth house which is cancer energy here it's like someone is preparing, is happy. Hey, at least we have this base here. At least we have this foundation. All right, so another Venus here. So that's why you need to understand through all of these emotions, through all of these dreams, through all of these possibilities to understand what really when it comes to love. I don't know, in the past, there's been something foggy. There's been fantasy here. There's been situation that has been unclear. Now you're trying to focus on what truly is that you want to create this foundation, this passion. I feel like it is about a home, a family, but we shall see. Another four here. Uh, I'm not, uh, again, I'm not surprised because uh, the 
The dice is here that came for you. It's Capricorn, Aries, Libra, 7th house, 8th house, and the sun, which is... Uh, the sun is in Cancer. Now you're thinking what is best possible for you guys, you think, with whatever you have to start or create here or go towards a pathway. This to me is like or someone is saving money or is holding very tightly here to their possessions. You feel like what's mine? What do I need here to create? Because yes, this is passionate, but this is tangible. Your own home, your own possession, preparing here, saving money. You're focusing on the material thing there. All right, so you may be the king of pentacles. I'm getting strong Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to be or someone feels like if I want to create this home, this family. I like the king of pentacles if I'm looking at a provider, if I'm looking at someone that is ready to, to um, be in a committed relationship. I feel like one of the readings few readings I feel like maybe two to three weeks ago you guys are getting it feels like coming back here with the same energy of this king of pentacles I want to clarify the king of pentacles but this is someone that has been planning long term here when it comes it can be very uh, focused on the material the physical uh, career but also again family provider so you feel like the attitude here with Mars in Leo, by the way, some of you may have Mars in Leo, it depends, or Leo in your chart. You're determined to stand above everything else, whatever the obstacles you're showing here, something that this is my way. Um, I always like the Seven of Wands, especially when it comes to what you need to defend. But also it can be very um, kind of opposition energy here, rivalry. So what it is here that you have to prove, you have to stand above everything else. Here with the Seven of Cups, is emotional the seven of wands is more upfront more bold more brave in the way that how i'm going to move this is my move this is where i stand these are my convictions um again kind of ready here for that um uh, rivalry or attack so maybe it's because external to you there's the five of wands there's tension it's all about creating this home but whatever is this foundation that you have to create it feels like maybe that's why you're saving that you feel like you have tension or struggles or fighting. This is external. This might be how someone sees you. Like there's going to be some tension or external things that you should be aware of. The moon. Yeah, you're trying. That's why you need light. There's a, you need that uh, within you light to understand here to something that feels elusive, dreamy, uh, foggy, mysterious. Oh my God, for the ones here that I've seen, the, um, I feel like the last two readings was all about the judgment and, you know, the universe giving you this uh, sign where, you know what, you're getting your wish fulfillment. This King of Pentacles that is coming in is like, you can have it all. You're thinking in, in a more conservative way with the Four of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. No, you know, I just hard work. The Pentacles are about hard work and being practical. But the Nine of Cups, which is Jupiter in Pisces, is like grandeur type of energy. Nope. You don't have to like feel like you only need this much. The universe it wants to give you much, much more. Ten times more. Emotional satisfaction happily here anything your heart's desire is coming in happy birthday i guess the last week here this is like you're getting your um uh, and it doesn't have to be just for the ones that have a birthday this week this is for all cancers and cancer moon uh venus and other placements you're rising but i feel like your birthday wish here kind of situation eight of wands quick swift immediate or you're going to get your message. What do you feel like you have to stand here with the seven of wands? Because that's what you're getting. You're getting your wish. Manifesto. You know, that's why I feel like, wow, really is like what you set out your mind to, what you focus, what is the pathway. That's what you're going to get. The magician is um, creating this wish and whatever the manifestation that you have been thinking or creating or trying to find it's coming towards you. You're getting your wish fulfillment. I'm going to clarify all of this just to get a little bit deeper and understand the reading. 
but just so you know it's saying whatever you have been looking for manifesting wishing for this family you're getting it and i feel like because you are determined here of course virgo is coming strong here scorpio as i mentioned leo aries um capricorn of course all right so what is this hermit one more the queen of swords wow i feel like for some of you this might be yeah it seems like something about marriage commitment vows uh faith something that you've been trying to find your own if it is not for some of you regarding um a marriage vows commitment someone from a distance because it's coming twice here this four of wands you've been trying to understand here within you whatever is this faith what's real what's not real I'm getting strong Taurus energy as well. I don't know if the Queen of Swords has been someone that is like, I'm done, I'm not going to allow anybody, or the King of Pentacles has been intimidated by this Queen of Swords, but it seems that's not the case now. What is the Magician, please? All right, guys, it's whatever is this external situation of strife struggle conflict it is about the lovers here by the way it can be mind versus heart it can be this major decision that two people here have not been able to come together but you're manifesting this connection or again your heart's desire here it can be about this person that you feel like you have a strong soulmate connection by the way that is coming in what is the four of wands please what is the four of wands one more seven seven chariot here yep the hermit so to me this this is beautiful because he's saying again there's something here that has been or already created we have uh number seven seven so it's about direction here a lot of sevens by the way direction the pathway here you have been going through all of these emotions and trying here to, to know exactly which way to go I don't know why, uh, maybe, I feel like it has to, I'm going to see why the Five of Wands is coming here externally, what it is about. But it's about love, it's about feelings, it's about all these possibilities and the pathway here. What is the Seven of Cups? One more. I keep getting uh, a lot of Venus energy. My goodness, what's happening here? Yes, yeah, that heartbreak. Some some of you at distance, closure, something that you're waiting finally to get completed. But um, there's clarity. And for some of you, I don't know, 99, if you feel like someone needed to be free, financially free, independent, because you, you're holding on. You feel like, no, maybe I should just keep my money or maybe I'm, I'm, you know, I'm opening too much. This is too good to be true. Again, there's this strong connection. But in your mind here, you're feeling like, no, I need to hold on to what's mine. Or I need to know here that there's safety. But in the past, there's been a lot of emotions here. And someone w was trying to find clarity in something more real especially if there's been a fear of non-commitment before someone was focusing on their own self what is the four of pentacles please what is the four of pentacles you see what i, I feel like i don't know if you're afraid that you're going to lose your assets or you have to hold on to whatever is yours but that's what you feel like you have to stand your ground Nope, nobody takes this from me. Or no, I need to save this. No, I'm not. I I don't want anything else. Look, it's it keeps saving here, or keep putting money into a situation that feels safe, and the seven of wands comes again here. As you're holding, protecting that. It's telling you the uh, actually what it is. Is that after that things are gonna come swifter here, quicker messages. Um, can go back kind of a situation what is the king of pentacles please what is the king of pentacles one more wow the king of pentacles is uh 
connecting with the queen of wands there's a reciprocated you feel like no you don't want to open or this person is not going to open and you're going to kind of hold back but he's saying this is someone that has gone through a lot of disappointment and now wants to share there's a kind of a sharing here give and take between you and someone else and there's strong attraction what is the seven of wands please <laughs> I feel like you're standing strong in whatever you have manifested when it comes to communication some of you when it comes to expressing feelings or how you express those feelings can you really are on this stand here you have the higher ground and you feel very emboldened by it whatever the thoughts are so what is the five of wands externally one more Okay, I don't, I don't know if the struggle is because of commitment, wealth, money, legacies, or marriage externally. Or someone it feels like there's the tension and the disagreement, or you feel like someone will come and take that away from you. A competition to have it all. Don't let the outside noise or whatever, because again, it's telling you that you're going to get whatever you wanted here. That's how the Nine of Cups is coming in. Wow, I hope this is specific uh, for some of you. What is the moon, please? What is the moon in your hopes and fears? One more. Oh my goodness, you're going between two worlds here. There's a fear of defeat, but he's saying, I don't know if you feel like it's too good to be true. No, it's just my imagination. You keep going between the practical mind here and the happily ever after, but you know something, you're not wrong. You are a step closer to having everything, but first you're getting at least that wish before the Ten of Cups. What is the Nine of Cups, please? One more. The Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Remember, we started with the Three of Swords, right? Feeling torn. I want this, but maybe I need to give up something. I'm getting strong, by the way. There's uh, the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. You and this person worry a lot when it comes to uh, financial, the material, the commitment, the building a future together. So... I feel like is a perfect match between you and someone else. But if you have been feeling torn regarding who do you want to go towards or what do you need to, to, to go after and you have felt like you don't have a choice or you feel like there's going to be heartbreak, that's not the case. It feels like something is coming in and it's saying, no, you don't need to, to give up. You can have this without feeling like you have to lose something or you have to save. And it's, it's giving you or there's a truth here with someone where you both agree what you want and peace of mind. But in the end, also, I feel like, again, the King of Pentacles wants to share here with this Queen of Wands, the attraction. And he's saying the outcome is that finally someone feels like, okay, now I have this. It's giving me peace of mind. I can go after what I want, what I wish for. What is the Eight of Wands here, please? The Empress and the High Priestess. Not only there's blossom in love here, but whatever your intuition has known all along is coming in. One more. Yep, I feel like there's been a, a lot of Leo here. Love, romance. There's been a longing. Someone may, I, I felt like I need to hold back, but now it's like unleashing that passion, that rom romantic approach here. That's what's coming in. You're going to be very happy, Cancer. The outcome is turning great for you. And um, I feel like what could you want more than that uh, Nine of Cups? All you ask for is coming towards you even more. Because again, you have the Four of Pentacles. It's coming tenfold, much better. The universe is rewarding you much more. Why? Because there's emotions and feelings here as well. I truly hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.